hello everyone welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a vertical connected dots and lines to display the situation or the status of each of your component inside an app just like this mock-up on the left hand side you can see the uh, position or progress of each of this stage you can also use it in your uh, gaming and other kind of apps as well so here i am going to create a file with the name of populate data it is going to contain some of the structs enums and some of the static data for the testing so first i am going to create a struct with the name exercise but we need some enums as we are going to create some of the variables of type of these enums so first i have created an enum with the activity type it has four cases and then another enum with the progress status that is going to display the progress of each of this state so this is just uh, basically a simple data to show you how you can create different cells and then we are going to create a vertical status bar or graph on its left hand side. So in the struct I have created two of the variables with the name of activity types and progress status of activity type and progress status enums. After that I am going to create some of the testing data. And also I am going to add some of the variables in the struct exercise as well just like a variable details of type string and sets of type int so here i am going to add that values so add all of these values copy all of these steps and let's move further So here I am fixing an error and once the data is complete after that I am going to add another file. Here I am going to create a basically fitness cell view which is going to create a single cell inside our scroll view or in our V stack. So here I am creating a view with the name of fitness cell view which is just going to create a single cell or a single view inside our scroll view. So we are going to create an H stack that will contain an image and another V stack which is also a part of this H stack and it will contain information like activity type and number of sets as well as the description of our fitness activity. So follow all of these steps and set the properties as shown in this video. you can see here the ui is being displayed on our right hand side with the help of the preview feature so you can see here that the view is pretty much like the view we want after that i'm going to add a background to my cell and some padding so basically i'm going to color the background so i'll be able to see its bound so i'm going to give it a bright red color and you are going to see that the edges should be a bit far from the text so i'm going to add some padding here and uh, the padding is causing some issues so we have to move it before the background and since we haven't added the dot it is going to crash so we have added the dot here all issues are fixed and now we are going to make the corners rounded with our corners radius 10 so this is the view that we are going to get with all of these values so i'm going to make the text and image slightly bigger so that everything is clearly visible on the screen so 
so here i am going to add an extension that will help us to add any color to our view with the help of a hex value this functionality is not available in swift ui so i am going to add here an extension and i am going to post the link of this extension in the description box so after that we have added a simple background and now we are moving to content view where we have created a scroll view and a view stack and then we are going to iterate over this variable exercise data so that we'll be able to display each of this cell according to this exercise data so i have created here a fitness cell view which contains the static data for each of this cell so here i need to basically encapsulate this exercise data variable inside a struct populate data and then i am going to make it static so that i'll be able to access it without creating an instance of it so here the data is available and it is going to display us the number of cells according to the count of our populate data which is four now i am going to create another custom struct which is going to draw a vertical line on our view for each of these cells so create all of these functions according to the code shown in this video So here you can see inside the function path we are going to move the path to a certain point with the function path dot move and after that we are going to add a line there and afterwards we are going to return the path from this function path and now I am going to call this function inside the for each function and then we are going to draw a simple line to see that if this code is working or not. So I have set a starting point as 10 which is basically along the horizontal or x axis. And after that I am going to add a foreground color which is black and also a style which is going to set the line width. Both of these properties are important to display this path on your UI. So now I am going to play the code and on the left hand side you are going to see that small black lines that are going to basically uh, be drawn according to each of these cells and we are going to customize these lines further and the view further so that we will be able to display a small icon along with these lines with each of this cell so I am going to create another struct for that which is a custom row view it is going to get the content to you that we are going to pass and draw it using view builder and there are certain other properties that we can also set for this view so I am going to add all of these properties here like image start right padding color all of these properties will be passed to our custom row view and then we are going to create an init method to initialize these here I am mentioning the content and the position position is basically custom line dot position and we are going to create an enum inside the custom line shape which is going to contain two of the values I am going to show you in a while so here I have created the init method and here I am going to create the enum so it is going to create uh, carry two values start or end and we are going to process both of these values and the UI according to these values differently so here I am passing the value default value as dot start and I am going to basically change the content as a view builder macro with the escaping macro word so this is how we are going to make changes to our init method after that we are going to create a where body sum view which is basically a simple view that will be returned from this custom row view so let's create the view here we are going to create an 8 stack which will contain a circular button and 
another cell the fitness cell that we have already created both of these will be part of the eight stack and there will be a z stack that is going to contain the custom line that we have created already and on the top of that custom line shape we are going to create another image so here I am going to set the image that we have passed to this view. So here I am setting the frame width of this eight stack with some right padding and after that I'm setting the content and then a spacer so this is how the view is going to be created once I'm going to run the code and call it inside the forage I'm going to show you the issues with creating a view like this and then we are going to fix each of the issue one by one so here I'm moving the content as the last argument to the init method so that I'm going to create it with a simple curly brackets so here instead of passing the last uh, argument I can simply use a parenthesis and I can pass the fitness cell view as a content to it and the rest of the values I'm passing the static values here and I'm passing the start value there inside the custom row view so I've set the color to blue and as you can see that it seems like these uh, circular images are part of the V stack and not of the H stack. So I'm going to move a curly bracket after the spacer and these are going to move on the left hand side properly. Now I'm going to adjust the right padding and you can see that the view is getting a bit better. So I'm going to add the value here of 50 and now I'm going to adjust the position of the line according to the start parameter. So here I'm going to make a change that if the position is start then we are going to keep the line width as 3 otherwise 0. So we want to remove the line after the last circle after the fourth cell. So for that I've added that logic and I'm going to pass here a position which will be passed as dot n for the last entry of this array otherwise it is going to be passed as, as dot start. So you, you have seen that the line disappeared. So the view is now quite better and next we are going to write the functions to pass the images and the line colors to each of these cells. So here first I am going to customize a cell, I am going to pass here a state variable exercise and I am going to get the value from the exercise for each of these text entries as well as for the image. So here I want to set the activity type as a string so I need to extend this enum with the type string and here I can get the raw value. After that I am passing here the exercise dot sets value and here I am going to pass the exercise dot details for each of this exercise type. After that I am going to create a function get image and I have previously added a switch cases to uh, select the image for each of the type of the exercise and it is going to give me an error so I am going to copy all of these switch cases inside this function and it is going to return me an image and then I am going to display that image inside my view so I am adding return with each of these cases and I am going to call this function inside my fitness cell view so I am passing here the exercise and the error is gone. So it means that our cell is fully customized according to the values inside the exercise variable. So here I am passing the exercise variable at a certain index from the populate data struct. 
so you can see here that all of the cells are shown properly according to their type of activity their images sets details as well as their type so now we are going to customize the left hand side or the actual progress data or progress status graph so here i am going to write another function inside my content view with the name of get progress status and i am going to pass here a variable exercise so it is going to switch between all of these progress statuses and then it is going to return an image. I am here changing the name to get progress status image of this function. So it is going to return image with the name check. After that for the in progress it is going to return image. I am going to check the name inside the assets folder. So here I am passing the string type not the exact image. So the image name is in progress and for locked the image name is lock. So I am going to pass this function inside an image and we are going to get that image. In fact, I am going to pass the image name because uh, image is basically the name of the image. So our custom row view is going to create an image from that image name that we have passed from this function. So after that, we are going to create another function that is going to pass the color. Now there is a bit uh, tricky about this get progress status image because uh, the line that is connected with a, a button or an image is basically of a different color uh, which means that if there is a line that is emitting from the done button it, its color will depend upon the image that is receiving that line so we need to get the color from exercise data n plus one so this is the I have got two properties the color and the image name so here i am going to get a little issue with this thing is basically if i am going to create a composite if else statement inside the color variable it is going to cause an error in the for each statement so i am going to move both of these calls inside the custom row view call uh, which you are going to see in a few moments follow all of these steps to avoid this error So I am going to move the code instead of passing it inside the constants I am going to move it with the parameters and the error will be gone and we will be able to successfully run this code. I am going to show you the pro progress or status bar on the left hand side and it is going to display the images and the line colors properly. So now all of the errors are fixed and let's run the code. So these statuses are shown properly. Line colors are displayed properly according to their states now i am going to move one of the progress status to dot completed so that we'll be able to see the green line color which is then visible so this is all for this tutorial i hope you've learned something from it do not forget to subscribe to this channel like and share this video and if there is any query post in the comment section thanks for watching